Hi, my name is Danielle. Welcome back to Star Pages. Today I'm going to be reviewing The Islands by Alexa Dunn for my tour stop on the book tour hosted by Turn the Page Book Tour. The Ivies is about five girls who try their best to get into particular Ivy League schools. One of the Ivies is murder and another Ivy is working to investigate her murder. So I gave this book four to five stars. It was pretty interesting. It kept me um, hooked from most of like chapter one to the end. Not the prologue though. I don't know. The prologue, it just felt a little bit off. I don't know why. The writing style was just a little bit different and it felt very, it felt very Wattpad, like past the time Wattpad, not actually enjoy the book, the book Wattpad. You know what I mean? So the characters, they were pretty interesting. They were, the Ivies were like mostly discussing. It didn't make any sense to me why Olivia, who is the main character, was friends with the other girls, even though she explained it multiple times. But then a lot of events happened and then she kept going back to them and I'm like, that's not making any sense. It doesn't make any sense to me. I wish the characters were a bit more fleshed out because we got we got like the initial characterization, we got a couple more scenes, and then it's just Olivia going about trying to investigate um the girl's murder. And then even then she wasn't getting a lot of character development. I think Alexa Dunn did a good job with the mystery filler elements. There were lots of possible suspects, a lot of good motives. Um, even like when you got the suspects and um, Olivia is there, you know, putting things together. There are a lot of, you know, a lot of people could have done it. And the reveal, it did make sense. But with the reveal, the person, the, the killer, I was very confused about their characterization because it, there's a lot of inconsistency with the character's level of intelligence. I, like, in the beginning, we are introduced to the character. And we'll meet the character as like average intelligence, but you know, they're rich, so they're getting all this help. And then something goes on and we hear that they're like very stupid. And then another thing goes on, we hear that they're so intelligent, another thing goes on. And then when the reveal happens that they are the murderer, their plan, we're saying, oh, they're so intelligent. And then they go on to explain why they did it. And it just, they're stupid again. It doesn't make any sense. So that was like one of the inconsistencies. Another thing was Olivia... She was kind of stupid. I, 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 listen, she's going around, she's getting all these clues and then a lot of things like are happening outside of the investigation and it doesn't make like a lot of the, the, the conclusions that she comes to don't make any sense. And a lot of the conclusions that she failed to come to, they were pretty obvious. I don't understand why she is not getting there. And her intelligence was also a bit inconsistent because there's some something going on about her. Um... What's that thing called? In, I don't know. SAT scores or something. And she's... And yeah, but it was a whole thing. There's a lot of inconsistencies in the character's level of intelligence. Because we hear that it's a most, this is so prestigious, it's a pretty prestigious school. And then we know that some of them are rich and they're getting off by their parents' money. But then we also hear that they have to be intelligent to pass. It's not making a lot of sense. There's a lot of inconsistencies inconsistencies going on there. I wouldn't go into this book expecting to like anybody because either the characters are stupid or they're just very unlikable. Um, you know, for example, the Ivies. Yes, you can like the book because of characters, but not because you like them or not because they are likable. It's set at a rich people's school. It's not described a lot. It, there's a bit of description, but it's not, it's not a story where you can immerse yourself into the setting. It's a story where you follow a character investigating her friend's murder and getting reveals about things that she was not aware of. So that's what you're going into this book for. Um, yeah, I gave this book four to five stars. That's it. <laughs> in the description, I'm going to link the rest of the posts for this book tour and links to ways you can help a lot of things going on in the world right now. For example, Colombia, Palestine, India. You can also find links to my other social media, my affiliate. Regarding liking, commenting, and subscribing, do what you want. Bye.